Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick and Partners along with Bob Iacchino. Checking in on IOTA, hitting through our next target, stopping dead on this 142, then blowing through our next top, uh, next major level. I'll show you how we got that on the daily, this 144. We did not have a key level higher because we did not get a pause. It was then looking at price action on the daily. This then formed a double top on a one hour. Let me clean some of this up so we can see what that looked like. This is one of those times where we will bring in a one hour chart because it's even good to teach. So here's the double top. So we can map that out for everyone to just show what happened. And I hope you're learning how to do some of these and what levels we're doing so you can start to recognize, recognize these by yourself. All right, triggering it and then coming all the way down. Key close on that level, return to the rotation zone, which then also gave us a pause. So now let me remove these levels. That actually gave us a pause right here. Which then it came down to this 126 level. Look at that reaction back to the rotation zone. Poking back down, but that's held for now. I'm just going to update this for the next major levels lower. Now we have a cluster. If we sell off again, 122, where we have these 122 is where these 200 period simple moving average on the one hour is. And that key level right now, this is not a, uh, this is a very sloppy double bottom actually on the one hour. Let's check in on the four hour again. Four hour major overhead resistance at 133.54. Let me just double check this double bottom pattern to make sure it meets our rules. It is very, very 127.97. What's the low here? 128. No, it actually doesn't. It does not fit our rules, so you cannot trade that as a long, potential long setup. We do have major overhead resistance. Looks like we might get the first cross. It's 133.54. If that does not hold, then watch for return to 139.88. Now, if we do get the first cross, we catch on that and turn back lower. Then we're watching for 122.67. 120 is a very key area. If we break below that, then I am expecting lower prices, uh, and possible return to retest uh, the most recent lows because then it couldn't hold the 62 and a half key GAN level. Let's check in on the daily chart to always get the bigger perspective though. So see this green line, show you where we got it from. This is a prior major support where buyers stepped in before, key closing that, spiking back down, but then, you know, rocketing back up. That's where I stepped in before. And again, dead close on that level. Po poking above this and then selling off. So that's where that level came from, just using price action. What are we watching for now? It pretty much closed on the top of the rotation zone after poking through it and then couldn't sustain it now back to the eight. So we're gonna see where this closes. Again, closing below the eight won't be very good on the daily chart and you see the next lows higher. It's pretty much just sit on the hands until we either get a very strong reversal pattern or this can get back above the rotation zone on the four hour and especially break through the top of the rotation zone on the daily, which right now is 141.84. Switching over to Litecoin. Litecoin pretty much closing on the next level higher. This 170. Then it kept going up and hit our next major level, which was from the daily chart. And I will show you that again. That was on the chart before in the last video. Then pulling back, pulling back to the 25% into the rotation zone, holding there, going back to 125, rotating between the GAN levels, and now back down to the cluster and the 37.5%. Looks like we might get the first cross overhead. Let me move this out of the way so we can see what's going on. So again, being very patient here, no great bottom pattern. There might be a very sloppy double bottom on a shorter term chart, uh, but I'm not gonna be looking for that ne yet. Next major key support, 156.18, 50% retracement of the up move, and you see this prior major support in there. And if that breaks, we have a very strong cluster at 151.59, which we don't wanna see a close blow, else I will be watching for lower prices. We may get the first cross rotation zone against us, so that would not be a very powerful pattern either. Uh, and again, 166 is key resistance on the four hour and then the 170.47. We really need to see it get up here, at least a 170 pull back, get the rotations on our favor and rotate back up before we're interested in buying anything. Let me get over to the daily chart. Daily chart, you see slammed up. Here was that key level, which was on the chart before, which we talked about in the last video. So this was uh, 
where buyers are stepping in and we talked about hey with the top of the rotation zone this is where people will look to liquidate also who bought this last dip and that's where they look to liquidate and now we're just seeing weakness and we're also back below the eight ema on the daily so this is not looking like a very strong pattern at least for now we need to be very very patient and you can also see this major cluster around 151 59 is where we have this key close and some buyers stepping in before after this last major sell-off so that's going to be a very important level to watch for should we return to it so we have for you on iota and litecoin and we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now 